Hi, welcome. Oh, oh, oh. That's not happy. That's not happy noises. Welcome to my seven week pregnancy vlog. Not pregnancy, I'm no longer pregnant. Uh, postpartum vlog, there we go. I'm gonna blame that on baby brain. Having a newborn baby, not sleeping that much. Um, hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Here's the little chicken. You wanna say hi? Here I am. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, what's these triples? What's these triples about? Hi, everyone. I'm Prairie, the little fairy. Oh my God, guys. I'm so obsessed with her. I'm having a major obsession. Um, I feel like I'm in a big fat love bubble with my new babe. Um, so yes, this week we are, oh. <coughs> That sad noise again. That's a sad noise again. Would you like some boobs? Um, this week we are over our jet lag, which is great. Um, here we go. I feel like the little fairy has been sleeping really well. Uh, she has a sort of a funny, like gassy hour. Is that lightning? How random. It does not seem like a stormy day. Um, she has like a gassy hour or a few hours from about 5.30, I'd say to seven, um, or even like five o'clock. So what I've been doing is, am I hearing thunder? No, I don't know what I'm hearing. Anyway, um, what I've been doing is I nurse her maybe twice throughout the night, sometimes just once. And then uh, I either rub her, I, I flip her onto her tummy and rub her back to get a big burp out of her in the early morning, or I sit her up and I jiggle her like this until I get a really big burp out of her. Um, the other thing she's been liking, which has been working so well, and this is one of those situations where I say like, we lay out the smorgasbord, all the many different ways of parenting, and you take what works for you. Um, I am a huge advocate for a baby swing, um, which probably sounds like maybe it goes against all the things that I believe in, but I do believe in a baby swing because it means hands free time. It means not always constantly having baby on your body in the baby carrier. Now, of course I read, um, oh, what's her name? Lidloff, Laurie? Lidloff, I've forgotten the author's name now, but the continuum concept, which talked all about keeping baby on body as much as possible. So while she's on my body so much of the day, she loves a carrier, she sleeps all the time in a carrier. She just loves, loves, loves being in my arms. She's happiest in my arms. She has decided that she's obsessed with the baby swing. So I put her in, this is a really cheap Fisher and Price swing that we bought when Bodhi was maybe six weeks old um, and she loves it and all my babies have loved it. So I wrap her up in a blankie and I put her in there and I put the little like nature noise on and I put it on the highest swing and she loves it. She'll fall asleep in there. She will coo, she will smile and she instantly, if she's grizzly or um, just like, over being in someone's arms. We put her down in that, she's so happy. Now, the other thing I've discovered about her this week, and I've known this about her, but now this week it's really solidified it. Look at that little face. Um, is not only does she love kind of the movement of the baby swing, she is a huge puker. So she's always been sort of a spitty baby. But this week I realized like, oh, there's such a pattern to it. Like anytime she feeds within about five minutes, bleh, it comes out. And it's not just a little bit, it is a lot. Um, and my other baby, Bodhi, was exactly the same way. So Forrest and Poet didn't spew up. They would drink and it would just stay. Um, but with her, we are back to a spitty baby. So I change her about four times a day. She throws up on herself. 
that was lightning. See, there it was again. Um, and I'm constantly having to put a bib on her. So I had essentially thrown out all the bibs because Forrest and Poet um, just didn't spit up. So I have maybe two bibs from when Bodhi was like that. So I, I got them out of storage because she's just so spewy. Um, and we just know if someone's like, oh, can I hold her? And she's just vomited or she's just had a feed. I always let them know like, oh, she will puke on you. So if you're cool with that, then go for it. Like have a snuggle, but she's definitely going to puke. Maybe face her out. So I've been telling everyone like, oh, just face her out and it'll go out. So she has puked on our floor a million times. She last week did the funniest thing. I think she had diarrhea. Um, it was thunder. There's a storm. There's a storm coming. Um, yeah, so she did the craziest poops last week. It was so intense. In fact, she did one that flew about seven feet from her butt, like, like, like a bullet. Hit the wall, splattered everywhere. Um, and I was laughing so much that I actually forgot to clean it up for a couple of hours. And then I was like, oh, my God. I was just telling everyone about the poo. And then I realized like, oh wow, I didn't actually wipe that off my wall. I should probably go deal with that. Um, she'll most certainly spew now and I don't have a town near me. So I should be more prepared and I am. Whenever I leave the house, I'm very prepared. I just bring tons of burp cloths. There's lightning can. Um, and so many changes of clothes. I just stuff the bag with clothes. We're still doing um, nappy changes. I just heard my kids up there get a little bit scared. I hope they're okay. I'm sure it's fine. Um, so we're doing a lot more nappy changes because she had that little sore butt last week. So when I'm out, I'm, I change her. Whoa. I change her almost every hour. Oh, see, look, here's her big spew. What can I use? I'll use my scrunchie. Just put that in the wash. There we go. Um, yeah, so I change her every hour whenever we're out, just to make sure that everything's looking good down there and that you're not irritated anymore. But it really went away after about three days. So she had that irritation and a bit of a rash. I just was so diligent about putting the cream on and putting the powder on and patting it all in and then just frequent, frequent changes. Yeah, you're smiling at me. <laughs> oh, what was that? That was like a little coo. Um, and so much more of that this week. Tons of cooing, so many smiles, and lots of really good work with your head, huh? You're doing lots of really good, strong work. There we go. I can kind of see a little dimple as well, yeah. Oh my goodness. I love this age. I just feel like she's so much more interactive. Um, she's... She's just cooing, eye contact, smiles, really reacting to when you talk to her and play with her and you sing to her and she loves having people sing to her. <laughs> oh my goodness, ah, melts me. Um, oh, you're just so sweet. Whoa. Um, I'm still such a kid when there's a storm. I get really excited. Uh, so anyway, it's just been a wonderful week and we've had lots of spews. Bum Bum's getting a lot better. Uh, although we had like three days of diarrhea, meaning when I say we, I mean her. Um, but she was definitely very kind of gassy and uncomfortable for those three days. So I knew something was up. And then when she did her projectile poo, I was like, all right, like she has a funny tummy. And I would love to figure out where that came from. I assume maybe it was something that I ate was just a bit funny for her and didn't work well with her system, but I couldn't begin to pinpoint where that came from. Um, ooh, ah, hello. Oh, you're copying my noise, I heard that. Um, and the swing has been amazing this week because I've had certain things, like just now I had a Zoom meeting we're doing a yours and mama podcast, yay. And I had a Zoom meeting because we're meeting with different studios to see who we're gonna go with. And I put her in the swing knowing she'd be happy in there. She was right behind me. I could hear her cooing away, um, but I was able to be laser focused on what I was doing. And Mark was out, he was working. 
and um, my mum was upstairs with the other three kids. And I was like, this is perfect. Like this swing has been such a godsend and I love how much she enjoys it in there. And sometimes the kids will just sit in front of her in the swing and they'll interact with her and they'll coo to each other. And it's just so gorgeous. I'm, I'm loving it. She's just the best age right now. You're seven weeks now. You're seven weeks. <laughs> Um, yeah, so going well. And I think one of the funny things about my babies is they're all quite similar. Um, I, I think she looks so much like Bodie as a baby. She really reminds me of a female Bodie. Um, I've been looking back on lots of videos and, and pictures. There's another lightning. Did you see that? That was lightning. And I just, they remind me so much of each other. So in some ways, all these memories are coming back about how it was like with Bodhi and when I have my my little man and they they seem to have a similar sort of body shape and mannerisms and so there are just so many things that are really aligned and then it's quite funny that she has a similar issue with her gut that that Bodhi did and I always assumed that it just happened to Bodhi because I was a new nurser milk was just coming into my breast for the first time and it was just a lot coming out and my body was kind of trying to figure it all out um but now i realize like oh it was just him that was his system it didn't have anything to do with how fast or slow my milk was coming out um because she has the same thing and she loves nursing we nurse on demand all the time whenever she sort of starts rooting around no baby or even you know, one of my soothing mechanisms for her is just nursing her. So if she's starting to get a little bit grisly and she's crying, I'll go down a list of things that I know in my, in my toolbox. Right, like right now. So, <laughs> so the first thing I try is nurse. I nurse. And then after that, if she doesn't seem that interested. There we go. She was quite ravenous. Um, if she doesn't seem interested after that, I do a jiggle because I think she's probably tired. Um, we change positions. We go look outside at the trees or I just give her a really big burp. And um, another thing I've been doing in the mornings when she has an uncomfortable kind of gassy period and it's every night at the same time. It's so funny. Right early in the morning when, I, when I'm woken up by her being like, <laughs> I know like, oh, it's going to be about 5 a.m. Um, and without checking the clock, I always know that it's just the early hours of the morning. Um, I grab her legs and I pump them up like this. And this morning I did that and kind of rolled them around and she let out a massive fart. And I was like, thank God, because I know now she'll go back to sleep. Um, but yeah, so to recap, feeling great this week, loving on her, loving the interactions we're having and just how much bigger she's getting and stronger with her head and all the little coos and it's just it's just beautiful to have that connection it's been so nice wow that was a big one too Ooh, it's getting closer oh i can hear them i think that's forest up there getting nervous um anyway i should go in a second make sure everyone's fine but yeah so it's just been a really beautiful week and lots of bodily fluids um, from her, all the, all the things coming out from all the different holes. Um, but yeah, it's, it was really nice to see that her butt all cleared up. Everything's looking really good down there now. And, um, you know, definitely triggered my trauma of when that happened with Poet. But luckily it, was, it only lasted a couple of days. And my babies tend to sleep so well at this age. And then they hit the four month sleep regression and it's all downhill from there. So touch wood, let's just hope that doesn't happen with this babe. Um, but I'm not holding my breath. So we'll see, I'm enjoying the sleep while I have it, getting good sleep, nursing on demand. She's, we're co-sleeping. She's sleeping in her little docker tot in the bed. And it's just been a great week. So that's it from us. That's our update, isn't it, little miss? And uh, we will see you next week for her two-month uh, postpartum update. All right, guys, lots of love. I will speak to you next week. Bye.